Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! Welcome to Cut the Tape. I'm Rick Alvarez, and uh, I'm in the world-famous frame and picture shop and pop culture art gallery, which I now own. So, please check us out online at frameandpictureshop.com. We specialize in framing comic books, too. We frame everything. But today's not about framing. Today is about cutting some tape. Now, there's been something going on that needs to be addressed. This is a box. It does not have a window. It is not a window box. What's a window box? A window box is when you can see the product inside. There's a little cellophane and then the figures inside. Sometimes there's no cellophane. Sometimes you can just touch the figure or you can even, if it's open, steal a figure's head off, which is a terrible thing to do. Please stop stealing LeBron James head. It's not funny. Now I'm noticing Batman's losing heads. Just, it, it's destructive. It's wasteful. Somebody wants to buy a toy for their kid and they can't because it's missing a head. Or worse, they actually buy it. Kid gets it home, opens it. Where's the head? And that's what we're going to talk about today. So I have a few items here. I got uh, MPM12 Optimus from the Bumblebee movie masterpiece. I got Rodimus Prime from Kingdom. They're both non-window boxes. People have been opening boxes, taking out the figure, replacing it with something. Could be a, a different figure. Could be, in some cases, a water, a bottle of water. So it adds weight to the box. They return it, and an unsuspecting clerk who should probably take a closer look to see if it's sealed or not, takes it. And then they take the item, they put it in the returns cart. Another clerk comes along, takes it. It's in the returns cart, so it's good to go on the shelf. I don't need to check it. They put it on the shelf. Here comes grandma, grandpa. Here comes mom or dad. Here comes collector. They buy the box, they get it home. And it's not what they wanted to buy because inside is the wrong figure or worse, trash or a bottle of water. This is harmful. This is terrible. Don't do this. This makes you a garbage person if you do this. The other day I was looking for the Trapjaw, Keldor, He-Man Target exclusive set. Finally found one in the wild. I mean, now they're everywhere, but at the time, I found one in the wild. And inside were two Mortal Kombat figures. And I was, I was just real upset. I was really bothered by that. I took the box up to the front of the clerk, to the front of the store. I told the, the clerk at Target, listen, this is not the figure. Somebody ripped you off. Please dispose of this. Take care of it. People do this for a number of reasons. Whatever their reasons for doing it are, are wrong. It's theft. It's destructive. You're, you're robbing someone of an experience. You're robbing a company of selling product. You're robbing the environment because it takes product materials to make the item. So this is a, whatever this is, I, I think it's like $120. Somebody bought it. They open it up, they put in Power Master Prime from Titan's Return. Put it back in the box, there it goes. Done. They get their money back. Clerk, If the clerk opens it, they'll notice, oh, it's Optimus Prime, looks like the thing on the box. Okay, we're good to go. Most of the time, they won't even open it. 
This is terrible. And this is why usually these two items would be sitting on my shelf for years before I got a chance to open them. But because it seems to have gotten more rampant, I'm gonna open these now. So, first thing I did when I got the, when I, I started seeing more and more of this on, online on the Twitter machine, I looked at mine, I'm like, oh no, because these are hard to find in the wild. Both seem to be sealed. Let's cut one open. All right. So, this is Masterpiece Optimus Prime, based off the Bumblebee movie. It's a great design. Opening the box up. Hey, there's the Matrix. That's cool. I don't know much about this figure. And it is the figure. There he is. There's Optimus Prime. Actually, I didn't even know this figure had the Matrix with it. And it's a G1 style Matrix. And it goes in the chest. It goes in the chest the right way. Matrix doesn't open, but that's okay. That's, that's fine. I am just relieved that the figure is actually in this box. All right. So we're at an impasse. Do I take this all the way out? Or do we open Rodimus just to see what's in there? Let's just take him out first. So this is also the first figure I've opened in my shop. I might have to put them on display for a little bit. It's funny, I uh, bought this business and I don't have any Transformers toys displayed in here. I have a bunch of Transformers art. I have a bunch of Transformers products for sale, posters, comics, all framed. Very, very nice framing. But I don't have any Transformers toys on display. Now, one thing to do, always check the bottom here because lately Hasbro's been hiding uh, extra pieces, uh, weapons, alternate hands in the bottom. Some of us aren't used to that. Boy, this is great. Wow. Oh, it's tight, tight joints. I love it. It's got great detail. Boy, Masterpiece really has come a long way. What, what, uh, what version of Optimus? How many Masterpiece Optimus we, we've had? The original, two, three. We've had Movie Optimus. And now we have Bumblebee Optimus. So we're missing a Last Night Masterpiece Optimus. This is great. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to display him in the shop, at least for a little bit, until I... He does kind of clash with some of the uh, art, the more Picasso and um, Pollock style paintings and prints that we have for sale. Let's open that chest up. Oh, gorgeous. That's the Matrix we want in the movie. That's, that's the Matrix we want. Speaking of Matrix, there's a new Matrix movie coming out. Like, everything that's old is new again. Original ideas are not easy to come by these days. However, putting a spin on an old idea is something worth giving a gander at. Just like this. This is a spin on G1 Optimus. This is a spin on the movie Optimus. Boy, that Matrix just flew out of his chest. And it's metal. I love it. I absolutely love it. Beautiful. I'm not even gonna try and transform this dude right now because it's gonna just, it's just gonna be impossible. Yay. <laughs> I am really happy with this. Boy, I, l I love this figure. Oof. All right, so I'm kind of dreading this one too. Rodimus Prime. And then I got a story to tell you after this. 
it looks sealed. You know, the other thing is, there's people like me who, I gotta have one sealed, I gotta have one loose. Let's say 20 years from now, I sell my sealed one and the person who buys it, he or she, opens it up. And it's not the actual figure that's supposed to be in there. Then that's my reputation. Don't, don't be an ass. And steal it from the box and return it. Oh, it's there. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Comes with a Dinobot card. I forget who was behind Dinobot. Oh, just Dinobot. These are nice. Here it is. I guess it's turned into the leader show. Now, it's got a lot of these plastic bands on here. You know, when it used to have twist ties, I would untwist each twist tie if I were saving the box. No, no, there's no need to. So first things first, this is a decent sized trailer. Like this is bigger than G1. Rodimus trailer. Did you ever think we'd get this again? I mean, this is, that is fairly large. This is also something that I had a dream about when I was a kid. Because when I was a kid, I swore that there was a hot rod figure that transformed into Rodimus. And now this is not the first Hot Rod figure that transforms into Rodimus. That goes to the first Masterpiece figure. It's an interesting design, that Masterpiece figure. But two robots in one. But here we are again. Uh, 10 years later, and now we have our second hot rod that turns into Rodimus. And there's a little bag here with accessories. Accessories, he's got his, his weapons, he's got his G, Rodimus has his G1 blaster uh, and sword. I'd rather have my Rodimus come with a bow and arrow than a sword. But here he is, he's hot rod. Let's see if we can do this actually. Without looking at any instructions. Very nice. Oh, little compartment to put all the extra pieces. I love it. That is a very, very good Rodimus trailer. That is incredible. Now, we're gonna take this, and this hot rod has now become Rodimus want to make sure there's nothing else I need to do to the vehicle hot rod nope hot rod is now Rodimus all right now he's hot rod now he's Rodimus there was one G1 episode where Rodimus Prime transformed and the trailer came back from behind him to hook up the way Optimus did <laughs> It's got plastic wheels. Man, if Takar was ever going to do something special with this figure, they would give it rubber tires for their version. And maybe metal feet. Metal toes. Alright, let's take a look here. I like to go the first time without instructions to see what's what, to see how it feels, to see 
if it's similar in transformation to its predecessor. So far, I gotta say, it's got an interesting transformation mode. I'm digging it. And it doesn't turn into hot rod robot mode, I believe. I'm just gonna check the instructions. I wanna make sure this thing doesn't turn into hot rod in this robot mode. Again, there's no bio on the box that kills me. Kids who, I mean, don't... Where are kids supposed to get emotionally invested in these characters if there's no bio on the box? Right? I'm just saying. Yeah, I think it just, robot mode becomes Rodimus, and that's it. And that's fine. That's fine. It's a little bonus that he becomes uh, the vehicle mode for Hot Rod. I like the legs. I like the colors on this. Very G1. Of course, everyone and their mother and their father are waiting for a pink Hot Rod. One day. One day. I can't believe we never did that for BotCon. Why didn't we do that? Man, such a missed opportunity now that I think about it. <sighs> Boy, am I happy buying this shop instead of Bacon. Whew. Anyway. These hands are a little precarious again. Oh, there we go. That is an interesting transformation sequence. hand is on the wrong side. So I'm guessing there's a spin maneuver here that has to happen. Uh, yep. Cool spin maneuver. Unnecessary spin maneuver. That's okay, though. Is that the first figure that can do that? <laughs> good transformation for the arms I'm digging it I'm digging this whole thing right now boy I'm really happy with this it's got to click in though How do you click in? It's gotta click. And we're stuck. Because we don't know how it clicks. Click. That's gotta click. Alright, so that's gonna click in there. If I'm having a hard time, imagine a kid trying to do this. There we go. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Rodimus Prime. That is the best Rodimus Prime toy we've ever gotten. That is the best Rodimus Prime toy we've ever gotten. Wow. I'm super happy with this. Woo! This seems to have a lot of <laughs> almost unnecessary action going on, but um, I'm not going to complain about that. Yeah, that's supposed to... There we go. So I guess you can connect the ramps to the... to the base here.
And you put Rodimus Prime there. Oh, look at that. He's got little handles. He's got little handles. Yay. Man. I'm going to play the hell out of this toy later. This is why I can't have Transformers in the shop because I'll just like sit there and be like, oh, I should be doing quick books right now. No, I'm playing Transformers. Um, I'm happy with this. I'm like really happy, but I'm psyched about this. Woo! Yeah! Two for two. All right. We're gonna continue the theme of opening on window boxes, but so I said I had a little story, right? The story I told you just a little while ago, what if I buy two? And I open one, and I take one, and I put it on the shelf. I don't open it for 20 years, 30 years. Kid's going to college now. I choose to sell it. Buyer gets it, opens it up. So that's what I'm hoping we don't have here, because I, I needed another barricade to open. I didn't have a loose Masterpiece Barricade. This is Masterpiece Barricade MPM Cinco. So, I'm gonna open this up. I'm not gonna bother taking it out of the, the package right now. Show's running long. But just to relieve my anxiety about this, I wanna make sure that I got what I paid for. Now, I didn't notice it when I bought it, but that sticker's been peeled back. There's one sticker here, it's peeled back, and I'm guessing the box has been opened. If the box has been opened, it has not been taken out of the package. That's it. That is Masterpiece Barricade. And I'm super relieved. Don't be the person who ruins it for the rest of us. Don't buy a toy, take it out, put in your deluxe barricade from 2007 in here, close it up, tape it, return it to the store. Don't do that. Just, it affects all of us. It even affects you because then when you do that, prices will go up because of all the returns that are coming in. It's not an innocent crime. If you know someone who's doing this, point them out. If you're doing this, you better hope none of my friends and I find out about it because we're going to point you out forever. So with that being said, I'm the new owner of the world famous frame and picture shop in Wilbraham, Massachusetts. We're online, Twitter, Facebook. We frame comic books. And I just happen to have one here on display. Transformers, Standard Edition, Generation 2, Number 1, available in our gallery. I'm going to have a bunch of stuff at TFCon. So, thank you for watching. Wash your hands, get vaccinated, wear a mask, be kind to others, and cut the tape.